Hey everybody, it's Cowboy Mike with the Cowboy Mike Poker C-Log, Cowboy Log. We haven't done one in about three weeks and we've been super, super busy getting ready for a non-profit event uh, on Saturday, September 28th in Woonsocket, Rhode Island for New England Missing Children and that's a priority, I'm sorry, uh, over poker. Uh, we will be playing next week at Foxwoods, the 600, after the event. So, just to talk about a little bit about um, Foxwoods has got an event. It's a 600 event. It starts on September 30th. That's day 1A. October 1st is day 1B. October 2nd is day 1C. And October 3rd is day 1D. And October 4th is day 2. This is a 20,000 starting stack with a 5,000 dealer add-on for $10. It's a $590 event, which brings it up to $600. It's 30-minute levels for the first eight levels. And then after the re-entry, it goes to 40-minute levels. I like, I like, I like. I like that better than the 30-minute straight-through levels that uh, Mohegan had uh, two weeks ago. We've got to get more 40-minute level tournaments uh, or 30 minutes for eight levels and then 40 minutes. And then 60 minutes should be day two, but it's 45 minutes. Um, so we need to get that up there too, Foxwoods and the other casinos that are having these events. We like the longer events, the longer level events, okay? It gives you more play. Uh, it gives you the ability to go, you know, have a bad run of cards and still be able to compete at a higher level. Um, when you do get good cards. So that's what's going on there. Um, I think Mohegan has something coming up on Columbus Day weekend, a 240 or something like that. Um, just so you know, personally, I'm not playing any more of the 160s and the 300s and the 395 at Foxwoods. I'm waiting for the bigger events. I'm saving my money and building my bankroll uh, until the bigger events. Florida Bally's is soon to be having poker tournaments. I was there two weeks ago or two and a half weeks ago. That is still on task to be completed um, and to be continued to be completed. And they are talking about having tournaments and circuit events and sit and goes and a bad beat jackpot in a high hand and something else that is a surprise. I don't know what that is, but they're not releasing that information just now. But uh, stay tuned. Um, and don't listen to the dealers at Bally's or Twin River because there are a lot of negative dealers up there that are bad-mouthing this whole effort by Maverick Gaming and by, and by um, Bally's uh, to expand the poker room uh, don't listen to the dealers that are saying it's never going to happen blah 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 I have been in touch with the management of the poker room and I'm happy to say I believe them I know card player uh, Barbara Rogers a friend of mine for over 13 years has been in touch with them as well and um, they're going to have a, you know, they, they're working on a card player event eventually up there too, within the, probably within the next six months to a year. So that is happening there. The sad thing I want to report is that a nonprofit, a, a nonprofit, New England Missing Children.org Center, uh, had a flyer that we gave to somebody at Bally's who gave it to the higher ups uh, for, our, for our event coming up. Uh, on on September 28th, this Saturday, for the nonprofit, um, we were seeking donations. This was over two months ago. We we gave this uh, donation letter out, donation request, and we just received an email from one of the people who I guess oversee the donations, saying that they got a letter. And they are not going to help us out in any way. Basically, that's what the letter said. It said, we wish you the best in your endeavor, but at this time, we're not going to facilitate. Obviously, we get a lot of requests, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we put our request in to the New England Patriots. 
four weeks ago, or five weeks ago, I should say, and um, we already got a uh, nice signed autograph uh, photo of Hunter Henry for the raffle. Um, we put our request in a shorter time span for other places that are bigger than Bally's and got uh, donations. So Bally's, shame on you. Because like I said in my email back to you, and I said I would say it on the, on the YouTube, that you could have donated $20 gift restaurant or something uh, to this cause. We help families of the missing people in New England. We are based in Rhode Island. We are not the National Cancer Society or the American Cancer Society. We are local. We're a nonprofit, 501c, tax exempt. Um, and you still said no to us. So I want the world to know that Bally's in that respect of giving to nonprofits locally sucks. And I don't care who likes that, okay? But they suck because they should have given something to us. And like I said, I don't care if it was a $20 gift card or whatever. You know, it would have been nice to, for them to donate a room so we could raffle off, a night, one night stay, a two night stay. But they did nothing. Um, and they sent a letter saying they're doing nothing. So uh, remember that the next time you go there. Um, don't take it out on the dealers. Still tip the dealers. But um, it's just it's just unfortunate that, you know, we live in, I live in Rhode Island. The nonprofit's based in Rhode Island. It's a Rhode Island corporation, a nonprofit. It's a tax-exempt corporation. And anybody, listen, who is in the proximity here, our event is from 11 to 7 at 870 River Street in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. It's a bike run. The bikers will pay $25 to ride their motorcycles. The passenger will pay $20. And it's $20 for spaghetti and meatball dinner. We'll have music all day from 11 to 7. We have a live band coming in for a couple of hours. And we'll have uh, music and raffle prizes in a 50-50 as well. So I hope you can come. I hope you can spread this out there and let people know about the event. Um, what we do is we fill the gaps. Uh, where law enforcement doesn't have the resources or the um, you know the tasks sometimes they it's hard for them to get totally involved in a missing person investigation after the first uh, 48 to 72 hours because they don't have the staffing and that's where we come in we provide private investigators we provide uh, everything that um, you know that we that the families need we uh, we bring, you know, we make the the, the flyers. Um, it's it's NewEnglandMissingChildren.org. If anybody wants to visit the website, uh, also why I haven't been on here is we had a 16 year old missing uh, juvenile male from Middletown, Connecticut, that we were able to locate last week safely in Rhode Island. Um, so there's another reason why I haven't been uh, on the YouTube channel. And today I took the mask off because. A um, little bit because uh, this is important stuff, okay? So, um, we're going to keep on doing what we do. We're still going to have, you know, do our YouTube channel. We're still going to uh, play the poker events. I'm hoping to go to Florida maybe in November. Um, if not, definitely the Lucky Hots in January. We'll get, we'll get that on the radar. So, um, any comments? Oh, the other thing, too, is if you've got something that you want out there and you're afraid to tell the casino or the poker room and you see something out of whack or whatever or you're not happy with the service, like an on-call like we did that, or you're not happy with the staff or the dealers, let me know. I'll put it out there for you. Okay, comment or send me a private message and we'll get it out there for you. Okay, let us, let us, let Cowboy Mike Poker be the voice uh, of uh, disputes, Okay. Um, I haven't heard anything from the not so great one lately. Um, I don't know what he's been doing. I know Daryl cashed at another event. He won the he won the uh, the senior event at Bogota. We know that, and I know that he uh, was uh, you know was obliged. I'm talking about you know was uh, we were texting, but like I said, I got busy with the nonprofit stuff, and uh, we need to take care of that first before we can do anything else with poker. Okay, so. Uh, Cowboy Mike Poker, Cowboy Mike Poker out, and this will be up uh, probably in about 20 minutes or so. Have a good night.